Good morning, I'm Mr. Gonzalez, and today we're going to draw an animal. We're actually going to draw it twice. The first time we're going to use our memory of the animal and our imaginations. We aren't going to look at any pictures. We're just going to uh, get an animal, whether it's a, a bug, a mammal, a reptile, and just draw it the best we can without looking at a picture. And then we're going to draw it again. And the second time we draw it, we're going to look at a picture of it. We're going to use a reference to help us draw, okay? This is an important exercise because it will show you some things that you need to work on. So let's get started. Let's draw an animal straight from memory, straight from our imaginations. And you can have somebody suggest to you what animal to draw, or you could just choose it randomly. All right, let's do this. So if you're having trouble figuring out what to draw, what animal to draw, you can ask a friend. I asked my wife Jackie and she suggested an armadillo. I am just going to imagine as best I can and visualize what an armadillo looks like. And I'm going to use a pen so that you all can see the lines I'm drawing. You can use a pencil or whatever you want. So, an armadillo. I know their head um, it's kind of like a triang triangular looking thing. They have cute little noses and their eyes are right there. And I know they have, at least I think they have ears that are kind of big. So I'm drawing lightly just because I want to be right about this. And their heads, I think, are lower than their back. And their body is kind of domed and round. And they have bands, kind of like a shell. And maybe a tail, like that. And they have like a protective shell over them. And so let's see. Hmm. I'm gonna try and, if this is a hip, the knee, the ankle, and this is kind of where their feet might end up. And I know they have claws because they dig holes in the ground. So this is, <laughs> let's see, shoulder, elbow, and then the wrist. Shoulder, elbow, and wrist. Yeah, they have four legs. All right. Okay, I guess I can start adding some of the details. Um, let's see. They have hard little scales on their heads. Their eyes. Black little reflection there. I think they have big ears because they gotta hear if some predator or other creature is gonna try and sneak up on them. And a little mouth, maybe? A little snout. I know they have some hairs on their body. I don't know if they have whiskers. I'm gonna give them a few whiskers. <laughs> now their, their middle section, their abdomen, I'm pretty sure has some, some bands of protective scales or armor. From what I can remember, because I've seen pictures of them before, I don't know if I've seen one in real life. Like a live one, I've seen uh, 
maybe toys or a stuffed one or taxidermy. But I don't know if I've seen a live one. These are their long claws. This is the texture of that shell. Just trying to move quickly here so the video isn't too long. Because we're gonna be drawing this again. But the second time I draw it, I'm going to use a reference, a photograph. Now, I don't know, this is kind of embarrassing. Like, <laughs> I'm just unsure about this. Looks kind of like a slinky, I guess. Um, let's see. <laughs> How did this part go? I'm pretty sure it covered their hindquarters and their tail had little, I don't know, protective armor plates on his tail. Big claws for digging. I think I've said that a few times. All right. I'm almost done with my little armadillo. some grass and pebbles, the shadow underneath it. Okay, that's my little armadillo. Okay, so I looked up a few images of an armadillo and I wasn't too far off, but <laughs> I learned so much just looking at an armadillo. I I am fascinated by what nature designs. So I'm gonna get a fresh piece of paper and I'm going to draw some armadillos from reference. And there are a few poses and I'm gonna draw a few of them. This will help me understand their anatomy a little bit better. And so the first one, the armadillo is kind of standing up and I draw the big shapes first. So this is, let's see, this is its body. It's kind of an egg shape. Actually kind of fat, a white egg. And then the head sits right on top. And it has a little snout that comes out, kind of an angled. So their snout is a little angled. And that's good enough. And before I draw any details, I just want to make sure I have the places of the armadillo. And you can do this with any animal. What's your favorite animal? Go ahead and draw it from memory. And then once you're done drawing it from memory, look at a picture of that animal. You're gonna learn so much about its anatomy. And you could do this at any level. You don't have to be uh, you know, beginner, intermediate, or a professional. You can really start learning more about any animal anytime. And their eyes are a lot smaller than I thought. Teeny bitty little eyes. So now that I have the basic shapes, I can draw some of the details. Let's see. I was surprised that I got the ears kind of right in my first sketch. 
And I think that's because I'm always looking at animals. I'm always trying to see uh, what, what makes them unique in their anatomy. Whenever I look at an animal, I kind of imagine myself like drawing it and what their bone structure is like. Let's see. And it's got a bunch of these little scales that kind of follow this pattern. These little armor plates. One of my favorite dinosaurs when I was little. I mean, still to this day, had a bunch of armor plates on it. And I think if I remember, it's called the Ankylosaurus or something like that. Big old club on its tail. Maybe like that dinosaur. I guess the armadillo is kind of like that dinosaur. connecting to this armor shell, like a flexible shell. Armadillo is just incredible. And they do have a lot of whiskers and stuff, but they don't, I can't see any of by the front of their nose, but they have like a beard, a bunch of furry things going on. I want to draw a few of these. And the way their claws are, you know, they do have big claws for burrowing, but they're staggered. They have a couple big claws in the middle and then smaller claws on the side. So these. And you can see how important it is to practice different type of lines, whether it's straight, curly, wavy. Because you'll use them for all sorts of stuff in your drawings. Look at this big claw. I wonder if an armadillo has ever, I wonder what the biggest hole an armadillo has dug. I wonder how big their dens are. And look, these scales are in bands going across. So when I'm drawing this animal from the photograph, I'm looking at all the things I didn't know before. I'm looking at how these claws are big in the middle. That's something I didn't know before and I'll remember next time. Remember that they have little hairs under their neck and on their belly. And I didn't know this, but look at it. It's standing on its hind legs, which is pretty cool. And even though the legs are in the grass, you can tell they're kind of out like that. And when you draw an animal, you get a chance to really learn a lot more about the animal, not just what it looks like, but you can actually you know, look it up, see what they eat, where they live. And you can write those notes down on the side, how to spell their name correctly, you know, all sorts of stuff. Part of being an artist is learning new things. Think of it like you're building your library and your library is in your mind. And so now I have a new book in my library, so to speak, 
and that book is about how I draw an armadillo. Oh, and these scales are kind of triangular. Interesting. Just some shadow. And I imagine this tail is behind it, but I can put a tail. They're bigger than I thought, these tails. They're more substantial. Looking at the other photographs. Drawing the shapes is important and drawing the value is also important. Where it's dark, make it dark, and where it's light, make it light. That will help show the shape of things. And I have a pen. Using a pencil is a little easier sometimes. Drawing a little bit, and that's okay. All right, so there's one armadillo. Well, I hope you enjoyed that lesson. Now is a good time to pause the video and do your own drawing of whatever animal you chose to do. I'm going to continue this video with me drawing another armadillo from another photo reference, just so that I can learn how to draw armadillos really well. So you don't have to watch this next part if you don't want to, but um, I encourage you to check it out if you like. Here's another picture of an armadillo that I'm looking at, and it's crawling, or it's walking. And so, same thing again, I'm going to use big shapes. And so, this is where the head is, and the ears are about right there. Big back. And let's see, let's see um, if I can have enough room on this piece of paper. It's okay if your drawing goes off the paper. What you don't want to do is squish it in, because then it will distort your drawing. Your drawing will look squished. You don't want that. Well, and this one shows me how its claws kind of bend. That's interesting. Let's see, we got some feet going on down here. And then its tail is actually pretty thick. And it goes off the paper, and that's fine. So, I'm going to draw my armadillo friend. Let's see. They have a ridge up at the top where their ears connect. Look at those ears, they're so cute. You can do this with all sorts of things, like if you don't know how to draw a car, or maybe you want to learn how to draw cars really well, you know, draw a car, draw a truck, whatever, the best you can from memory, and then fi find a picture, and look at the picture, and draw that car again, and you'll realize, you know, there's a lot of things that you didn't know about that car about that truck and drawing it twice will help you learn it so this is a fun exercise you could learn a lot about an object or a creature 
and that will just help you expand your your library of all the things you can draw. I like the little wrinkles of skin this armadillo has. They're so cute. <laughs> Their little beady eyes. I imagine they have little eyes because they don't want to get a lot of dirt in their eyes when they're underground. Let's see. So what I'm looking for is kind of a pattern for these little armored plates and they seem to be kind of in a line going up their head. And they aren't round all of them, but that's okay. I need to move a little quickly so I can not take up too much time with this video. All right, let's look at this arm. It's got the arm extended. It's got a little claw in the back, it looks like. It's like a little thumb. Oh, no. <laughs> the lights. I gotta get up to move so that the lights can come back on. All right, let's see. It looks like that's a finger pad and the claw goes out. It comes in. And then the other claw, same thing. Have you ever wished that you had claws or wings? I always wondered if I had claws like a jaguar or a cat, I'd be able to climb things so much easier. <laughs> if I had wings, that'd be pretty cool too. this armadillo. Let's see. This ear looks a little dark. I really enjoy taking some time just enjoying drawing. Not everybody has something that they can spend an hour just doing by themselves. I mean, some people have a hobby where they, they're learning guitar, they're playing guitar. Other people really like to read a good book you can spend a while doing that. Or even writing. For me, I've always found joy in drawing. It's nice to be able to find something that that challenges you a bit. You know, it's not too easy. So that you can grow and learn new things. but also that you can get some joy from that makes you happy. For me, that's drawing. interesting pattern of these lines of armored scales. Armor scales. And then I'm gonna do everything. 
every single one, but I'm gonna do enough that the viewer understands that there's a lot of these little guys. Part of drawing is learning to show somebody something that you're imagining or something that you've seen. So you learn how to show texture and form and light in all these different ways. Underside of the tail is darker than the top side because the sun, the sun is shining on it. It's got a shadow also. So I'm about done with this armadillo for now. I can keep showing all this texture. But really, just wanted to show you guys that you can learn so much when you draw it from imagination and you realize all the things you don't know about it when you draw it from a photo. And what you didn't know before, you learn. It'll stick with you. So I hope you enjoy drawing an animal that that you chose or somebody else chose for you. All right, have a great day, bye.